Hello everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an overview slash review of the Agents Navigation Crowds package available on the Unity Asset Store. Now this package is an expansion of the Agents Navigation base package also available on the Unity Asset Store. Now the Crowds expansion specifically gives flow field pathfinding, which is really useful when you need to have a very large number of navigation agents travel to one specific location on a map. This can be very good for things like city builders or real-time strategy type games. Now, in order to use the Agents Navigation Crowds expansion, you do already need to have the Agents Navigation base package. Now, good news if you're watching this before May 8th, 2024, both these assets are available on sale as part of Unity Asset Store Spring Sale, which is happening right now. And I should mention this at the top, although that both these assets are built off of Unity's data-oriented technology stack and their entity component system, and they're of course fully compatible with any ECS projects that you use, you do not have to be using ECS in your project to use either of these assets. The really cool thing about these assets is these assets basically create an entity representation for each of these pathfinding agents for you on the back end, even if you're only using this in a fully game object context. So it still does all the heavy calculations on the more efficient ECS side where it can take advantage of multi-threading through the job system, as well as the massive performance gains you get from the burst compiler. So whichever way you go, either ECS or game objects, you're still going to be getting a really excellent performance with this asset. Also, I do want to mention that today's video is sponsored by the Unity Asset Store. Once again, like I mentioned, they do have their massive spring sale going on right now. And just as of today, the day this video goes live, they've added in over 100 new assets into the additional 300 assets that were already available. One of the ones that was just added to the sale that I'm extremely looking forward to checking out some more is A-Line, which gives you the ability to create debug lines, shapes, and gizmos all from an ECS and burst context. So this will be extremely helpful for debugging, especially across very large numbers of entities where performance is very critical. Now you may recognize the developer of that asset, Aaron Granberg, who also is the developer of the A-Star Pathfinding Project Pro, which is another very popular solution for pathfinding in a more general Unity context. And this one is also available on sale as part of the spring sale. And it kind of does end up going full circle because the base agents navigation package recently created an integration where now you can integrate the A-Star Pathfinding Pro project with the agents navigation base package. So needless to say, there's a lot of really cool stuff happening over on the Unity Asset Store. Once again, go ahead and check out the sale. There's a lot of really cool things on there that I use on a pretty much daily basis that end up saving me a ton of time and just basically allow me to do things that I wouldn't necessarily otherwise be able to do on my own. So anyways, if any of this sounds interesting to you, I've left a bunch of links down in the description of this video with some of my favorite assets that are available on sale right now. So anyways, let's get back to agents navigation. So the agents navigation navigation base package is a really excellent package. I did a overview and review of it a little while back. So you can go ahead and check out that video if you want to get a good idea about, you know, how to use that and set it up and everything like that. For the crowds specific expansion, like I mentioned at the top, this kind of uses a flow field pathfinding algorithm to move many agents from all over the map to one specific location. I've actually done a video on flow fields in the past, but basically the way that it works is you break up the world into a giant grid and then you basically calculate the least costly move to move from any one of these grid cells on the map to that one destination point. So basically it's going to allow you to navigate around obstacles and take the most optimal path, you know, whether you're going through different types of terrain or whatnot. And one of the really great things about this asset, much like many of the other assets by this developer, Lucas, is that this asset integrates extremely well into the Unity editor. So like I mentioned earlier, it works with both ECS as well as regular game object based projects. The documentation is extremely clear, easy to read. All the source code is very readable and documented very well through comments. When you import the package into your project, it actually appears in the packages directory so it doesn't clutter up your whole assets folder, which is extremely nice. And all the custom components have their own custom icons and it really just feels like everything in this package is a regular Unity component that's basically built into the editor. And best of all, this stuff is all extremely modular. If you wanna go into the code and edit any of the things on your own or build on top of it to add functionality, it's extremely easy and clear to do that. Like I mentioned, this developer has also recently added in some integrations with the A-Star Pathfinding project. So there's a lot of really cool stuff you could do with all that on the code side. So I really think that the way that this asset is set up is really just the gold standard for how assets should be packaged and available through the Unity Asset Store. So let's talk a little bit about how this 
this asset works. So basically you first define a crowd surface and this crowd surface is basically going to be where you define your grid for your flow field. So you can set the size as well as the number of cells that are available in this surface. Now the developer does point out that as you increase the number of cells, the performance is going to go down because you're going to be having to continually recalculate those cells, especially as things are happening in your world and maybe paths are changing, especially if there are like, you know, obstacles that are moving around. Um, then that path is going to be basically need to be recalculated every frame. And then the next thing that you're going to need is a crowd group. And a crowd group is basically just an entity that will get referenced by a number of different agents that are all pathfinding to one specific location. So you can think of all these agents kind of grouped together. The developer also does mention that the more of these crowd groups you get, the more the, the performance is going to be impacted. Now, I wanna do a little bit of testing on my own just to see you know, how bad the performance would take a hit in these different types of scenarios where I was you know, really increasing these numbers. And I'm happy to say that you know, with a pretty vanilla project, I was able to get some pretty incredible numbers. So what I'm gonna be showcasing right here is a 200 by 200 grid. And right now I have 20,000 entities in a hundred different groups. So they're basically pathfinding to a hundred different random locations throughout the map and I'm still able to run this in editor at a comfortable 60 frames per second, which is really, really impressive. Now, again, I'm not doing any crazy things with like dynamic obstacles, which I assume could really have a much greater performance impact because in theory, right now, all the flow field paths are not changing, so they're not necessarily going to be recalculating all the time. But still, just at a base level performance, I was very impressed by these numbers. I should also mention for the agents themselves, the agents basically use the exact same setup that you would in a a regular agents navigation agent setup, but you do need to add one extra component that is a shared component, which references that crowd group. Now, unfortunately, I ran into a little bit of issues with setting this from an ECS context through a baker, um, because if you just drag in a reference to that crowd group, uh, it doesn't actually set appropriately. This seems to be a little bit of a limitation with Unity ECS, because there's some like entity remapping that happens during bake time that doesn't affect those shared components. So all that to say, this ends up kind of breaking some things with pathfinding, and, and this actually led to a little bit of weird behavior where agents were still able to move to their destination, however they were moving moving through obstacles and it was being a little weird like that. However, the solution to that is that you just need to set that crowd group at runtime. And especially if you're spawning, you know, very large numbers of entities, you're going to be doing that anyways, but it is just one thing to keep in mind, just a little quirk of ECS there. However, if you're doing this in a completely game object paced project, you don't need to worry about that at all. Another really great highlight about this asset is the sample projects that are available. They do include a number of just really simple sample projects available um, just through the samples tab in the package manager. And the first couple just kind of demonstrate a couple of the different features of the crowds asset. They also do include a much more fully featured almost game that is this basically called the board of defense that spawns a bunch of different assets and you can place towers on there. And it's really cool because the flow field is recalculating in real time so you can say, use these towers to block off certain paths and then the agents will have to like find a different way to get to their destination. Now, I will say that I did run into a little bit of issues with some of these sample projects. Uh, for example, some of the simple sample projects, they worked fine for the most part, but there's just some little quirks here and there where certain uh, agents weren't getting quite to their destination. And in the main board defense project, all the materials were set to run off of the built-in render pipeline. So I had to just go through and upgrade all those materials and everything seemed to work fine after that. Now, I think these samples are really excellent learning resources if you want to get up and running with the Agents Navigation Crowds expansion. I was referencing them a bunch when I was just kind of playing around with it and building up a project from scratch. So it was super easy to go through and see how everything was set up over in the samples. Now, this asset does also include some really cool debug gizmos that can give you a lot more insight into what's going on in the flow field. Unfortunately, in an ECS context, they were a little bit finicky for me and they did seem to greatly reduce the performance of my simulation. Again, these things are primarily for debugging purposes only, but it is a little bit unfortunate to see that. But hey, maybe this could be a great opportunity for the developer to do another integration with the A-Line asset by Aaron Granberg. So overall, I think this is a really excellent asset. Like I mentioned, this integrates with the Unity editor extremely well, and I still think that this type of thing is kind of the gold standard for what uh, assets of the Unity asset store should be aiming towards to just kind of give for a user experience and again, it just integrates with the editor so well. I'm extremely pleased of that. Um, all the documentation is extremely helpful. The code is easy to read and all that. 
um, very much positives there. Like I mentioned, there were a couple of things that were a little bit rough around the edges, especially in some of the sample projects and getting up and running with a few things. But for the most part, I was able to work through those things, no problem. And I'm confident that all of you smart people out there will be able to do the same, no problem. So anyways, that's going to conclude my overview and review of the Agents Navigation Crowds expansion. Again, I'm very happy with this asset and I hope that you are interested in it as well. If you are, again, it is available on sale right now as part of the Unity Asset Store Spring Sale. Of course, I'll have a link to that down in the description, along with links to some other favorite assets that are available on sale. Anyways, hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.